Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build at 25,977. In this build, we have a few interesting improvements and also some fixes to the Windows 11 operating system, and we're gonna try to cover them all in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, let's talk about some news regarding the Canary channel channel. So this is some information provided by Phantom Ocean 3, Gustav Munz on Twitter and also BetaWiki. Basically at the end of August 2023, development semesters changed from Gallium to Germanium, similar to when Copper switched to Zinc with no build jump. In terms of public builds, build 25947 and up are Germanium. This semester is expected to be the base for Windows V next, Hudson Valley or as some call it Windows 12. Of course we don't know what the next version of Windows will be called but let's assume that it will be called Windows 12 and also server 2025. So I think these are some pretty interesting news and what we're seeing in the Canary channel from now on could be released in the next version of Windows and that is pretty interesting. First of all in this build Microsoft is improving accessibility with Bluetooth LE audio. Basically now they support the use of hearing aids equipped with the latest Bluetooth low energy audio technology. For more info you can check out the article below. Microsoft is also adding new controls to help you manage which apps have access to the list of Wi-Fi networks around you, which could be used to determine your location. We can view and modify which apps can access the list of Wi-Fi networks by navigating to settings, privacy and security, and then location. And also as spotted by Phantom Ocean 3, whenever you are turning off location services, you're also prompted with this turn off location services dialog, which will basically allow you to turn off location services in Windows. Also starting with this build, SMB over QUIC now supports additional access control options for clients more info about this in the article below. Starting with this build, Mail and Calendar will no longer be installed after doing a clean install using the provided ISOs from Microsoft. This only applies for clean installs of build 25977 and higher in the Canary channel today. Mail and Calendar will not be removed on upgrade for insiders in the Canary channel. Also, if you open up the Microsoft Store and then update all your apps, you will also receive an update for the Xbox Game Bar, which will now just show as Game Bar under the Start menu and also also under settings, system and system components. Also Microsoft added a new network icon that is now animated when connection is in progress. This animation replaces the disconnected globe when a network is taking time to establish Ethernet. Regarding input, Microsoft is also including two new keyboard layouts in this flight. These are the new German extended layout standards E1 and E2. In settings, when looking at your Wi-Fi password under the Wi-Fi properties, Microsoft will now show a QR code so you can more easily share it with others. They will also show a QR code when you set up a mobile hotspot to share your network connection. You have your Wi-Fi network password, you can click on show and you'll notice that you will be shown the password and also the QR code that you can scan to connect. In this build 25977, Microsoft is also adding a new install driver button to the OB's network connection page. I think this is pretty useful and you're gonna see a screenshot that was provided by Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter. I think this is pretty useful because especially on new laptops, if you install Windows 11, you'll notice that Wi-Fi drivers are not automatically installed or are not pre-installed, so you're gonna have to install them, and that way you can easily access your USB device where you can copy some network drivers that are compatible with your laptop. They also have some fixes for known issues, for example, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue believed to be the root cause of various games having issues launching, citing graphics issues, or changing resolution in build 25967. They also did some work to help improve performance when expanding the navigation pane in Task Manager. And they also fix an issue where certain .rar files would open blank or with an unexpected message saying there was insufficient memory to open the file. There are also a few known issues in this build, but you're gonna be able to find those in the article below. And basically, this is all there is to it to the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.